I'm not gonna beat around the bush on this one with you guys. Disney announced this morning in a virtual meeting with the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force, two Disney parks in Orlando, Florida, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom will be opening on July 11th, and with Epcot and Hollywood Studios opening on July 15th. They will also have cast member previews a few days prior to July 11th, with a reservation system required to enter the park. Think like the Flex Pass in California. They will also be requiring cast members and guests alike to be wearing face masks. So if you have a cool haunted mansion or tiki room face mask, now is the time to bust that out. Also something to keep in mind that they are trying to reduce contact as much as possible. So no character meet and greets and no play areas. So sorry if you like the Casey Jr. splash station. Lastly, they are also suspending parades and fireworks and other things that they said, quote, create crowds. But don't worry, if you're worried about wearing your mask in the Southern Florida heat, Disney says that they are going to implement relaxation zones where guests will be able to safely take off their masks for a while and of course, relax. All the parks were closed to guests on March 16th, and the hotels followed soon after, as soon as people could, you know, get out. Keep in mind though that this opening date is just for the Walt Disney World Resort, we still do not know when Disneyland in Anaheim will open back up. So yeah, if you want to visit Galaxy's Edge and take a ride on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, you can start on July 15th for Hollywood Studios and Epcot, and July 11th for the Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. This is just preliminary though, so keep in mind that if things change, if they get worse, or if Disney changes their minds, these opening dates can be pushed back. In other news, also kind of related to the COVID-19 pandemic, Disney has changed the status of Spaceship Earth on their website and app from just being closed like the rest of the attractions in the parks to closed for refurbishment, which means that they are currently moving ahead with the refresh to Spaceship Earth. We saw concept art for the changes at D23 last year, but just how much of the changes will happen and how much will remain the same is unknown at this point due to the impact that COVID-19 has had on the parks. It's been a pretty big one. But we all know that construction has resumed in California on the Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Toontown. So how do you feel about the parks reopening and the steps that Disney is taking to keep everyone happy and healthy? And are you going to be one to visit while they have rules like these in place? I can see some people being kind of driven away because they don't want to wear a mask in the southern Florida heat. While some people might be eager to show off their Disney masks, let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear what you guys think of this reopening happening. I think so far the opening for Disney Springs has gone pretty well, minus that weird hot dog thing that happened the first day, but other than that, it's been really nice. Little shorter episode of offhand news for you guys here today, but I just thought it'd be important to tell you guys that yes, the parks with extra steps in place to keep the coronavirus kind of under control. We'll be reopening on one last time, July 11th for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, July 15th for Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So if you wanna ride Spaceship Earth, July 15th 